Hi everyone, I am just about to go and make some coasters. I've just got myself up and ready. It's a Saturday morning, but it doesn't mean I have a day off of coasters because everyone keeps ordering Christmas presents and it's gone a bit crazy. Had a few more orders in last night via Etsy and a couple of messages that I have to respond to. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be making today um, and finishing off some painting. And I might be doing a bit of work with the Cricut machine. So um, yeah, so come along and have a watch. So here I am just painting away, I've got quite a few of them to do, a lot of black and white ones that I've got paint, um, but yeah. Here I am just making a couple of acrylic circle key rings, so as you can see I've opened up Cricut Design Space and just uh, typing in the letters that are needed for the key rings, so I've got A, S, Y and then I think I've got three J's as well to do. So what I do is just type them in, get the font that I want, and then I also pop in what size I need. So I put about the height at 3.2, um, and then I've got to pop in a couple of names as well. And then this is just me loading up the Cricut machine, and then I'm ready to demold, um, not demold, uh, de-weed some of them. Uh, so this takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. But you can see here, just taking it all out, the black vinyl. And then you can see here some of the names that I made to go on some of our drinking jars. It is so fiddly, but once you've done it a couple of times, you kind of get used to it. And then all I'm going to do now is once I've finished is pop some transfer paper on top of the names and letters. So I just use the Cricut transfer paper, but you can get cheaper options. Um, but I've started out with everything kind of Cricut branded, but I might move move down the line to a bit of like masking tape because that's obviously so much cheaper and it still works the same. Uh, so here I am just peeling it off and then popping it on the name. And then I use the tool just to press it down later on and then I will cut all of these out and pop onto the acrylic key rings and also the drinking jars. Looking at back at this I actually should have just got one whole piece of transfer paper and stuck it all down but no I'm using some scraps so I don't waste anything. And this one was a bit fiddly, the E went a bit funny. So I'm just kind of correcting it with the tool. And there you go, good as new, I think, anyway. So once all of that's done, then I take it off of the mat and then just start pressing it down so it's fully stuck to the transfer paper. And then I just cut them all out individually. So now I'm just going to pop them onto the drinking jars. So I've got a gold one and also a rose gold one, popping the names on and then peeling off the transfer paper tape. I think they look really sweet. 
great for little Christmas stocking fillers. And then here I am just taking off the back side of the acrylic. Um, like it's just like a seal to keep them safe so they don't scratch. And then what I'll do is just pop on the letters onto one side. And then once that's all on, I turn around the other side, take the seal off again, and then just paint the back of them. So here I am just using the tools just to press it down firmly. And then for these key rings, the customer ordered them in blue. So just going to use some simple acrylic paint that I found on Amazon. And then just gently paint the back sides of the key rings. And you don't need a lot of paint for this at all. Like the first time I did this, I used way too much paint. Um, but now I've learned from my lesson and you literally just need like a pea size. So just put on however much you kind of want. I'd normally cover like the whole letter and then just moving on to the A. I think this colour is really nice actually. I quite like the blue colour. But I've got loads of other colours too, nice pastel colours. And this is kind of what it looks like. Having a little check. They look really sweet. And then once they're dry, I just use a bit of Mod Podge just to seal the back side of it so it doesn't scratch too much. But yeah really nice so we'll let them dry and then i'll add the key rings uh, at a later stage now joanna was in today so she actually wanted to help out a little bit making some coasters which was good so i could film a little bit and also do some boring admin work um because i've got so many orders in for christmas and i'm really grateful um and i'm nearly at 400 sales guys on etsy and that's just insane i started this whole little small business back in June 2020 during the lockdown I was bored and I wanted some coasters for my for my flat I still haven't made any for myself because I keep selling them but um I'm just happy that I'm making loads for you guys because it's quite therapeutic making this look at this pink color as well I think this is stunning this pink color I think I say that every time I use the pink but I actually genuinely really like it. And I'm not a massive pink girl. Just using the heat gun just to get all the bubbles out there. And then Jo just adds the gold flakes to the middle. I think she's a lot better at this than me, to be honest. And then another customer ordered kind of like a tan beige colour. So I had to use a couple of Mika powders to kind of get the colour. So I added quite a lot of like white in to get this colour and I think that is stunning to be honest I think I need to make more coasters in this colour and when we were making it it literally looked like hot chocolate and Joe wanted to eat it but <laughs> obviously you can't you probably die to be honest um, but yeah I think this colour is really really nice and then we're just going to add some gold flakes to it and then once that's done we'll paint the edges gold as well but yeah, this is all that Jo made today. So thank you very much, Joanna, giving you a little shout out. So thank you for watching, guys, and stay tuned for my next video.